Hey, tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Gotta love Russian men's tennis these days. Not only do they boast two top 10 players in Daniel Medvedev and Andrei Rublev, they've also got Karen Kachanov, a former top 10 who will surely get back there. Well, now you can add to that list 27-year-old Aslan Karatsev, the first ATP player since 1996 to reach the quarterfinals on his Grand Slam debut. It happened last week in Melbourne when Karatsev came back from two sets down to defeat Felix Auger Aliassime. Then he won another round to become the first player in ATP history to reach the semifinals on his Grand Slam main draw debut, and then he came up against Djokovic. But what a run for this talented player. He was just the seventh ATP player in history to reach the quarterfinals of his debut Grand Slam in the Open Era, and the first to reach the semis. He became the first ATP qualifier to reach the quarters of a Grand Slam since 2011. And when he took out Grigor Dimitrov in four sets, he became the fifth ATP qualifier to reach the semis of a Grand Slam and the first since 2000. And here's what's crazy. In nine previous tries, Karatsev failed to qualify at any majors, but he finally broke through this year, winning his three qualifying matches in Doha back in January. At number 114, he is the lowest ranked player to reach the Australian Open semis since 1991, and he's the lowest ranked player to reach the semis at any Grand Slam since Goran Ivanisevic at Wimbledon in 2001. By reaching the last four at the Australian Open, Karatsev became the first man to reach the semifinals on his Australian Open debut since 1998. And along with Andrei Rublev and Daniel Medvedev, he has helped achieve a remarkable feat for Russia. They are the first trio to ever reach the quarterfinals at the same Grand Slam in the Open era. And he and Medvedev are the first Russian duo to reach the semis of the same slam since 2006 and just the third overall. Yegevni Kafelnikov and Marat Safin did it at the U.S. Open in 2001 and Nikolai Davidenko and Mikhail Yuzny at the U.S. Open in 2006. All right, a few more facts about Karatsev. He owns 10 challenger titles, including two from 2020, but he entered the Australian Open with a 3-10 lifetime ATP record. And finally, Karatsev had never faced a top 10 player before the Australian Open, but when he did, he came out a winner against Diego Schwartzman in the third round. So what's the moral of the story? Every player develops on their own timeline. Keep plugging away and amazing things can happen. So our hats go off to Aslan Karatsev for showing us that persistence can pay off. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.